We've covered the basics of an automotive circuit and how it operates. But one of the most useful things to learn when troubleshooting electrical is the concept of voltage drop. All loads, like motors and light bulbs, are designed to consume a certain amount of voltage in order to operate. A 12-volt light bulb uses or drops 12 volts to work. The term dropping voltage means using voltage. This type of circuit is called a series circuit because there is only one path for current flow. And current must be flowing for voltage to drop. If the circuit is open, there is no path or track, so there can't be a potential voltage drop because there is no current flow. In a simple series circuit with one load, when current flows, you'll find voltage between the battery and the load. But there is no voltage after the load. That's because all of the circuit voltage has been dropped across the bulb, making it glow. When a circuit has two loads in series, each load drops part of the voltage, depending on the size of the load. The largest load, in terms of resistance, will drop the most voltage. In this case, each load is the same, so the voltage is split equally between the two. When a circuit is working correctly, there should be no voltage after the last load. Unwanted resistance, such as corrosion on a switch or connector, becomes an unwanted load that robs the circuit of voltage. The factory bulbs are dim because part of the voltage they need is being dropped across the corroded connector. So voltage drop testing a circuit could really tell you a lot about the circuit. It's kind of like looking for a voltage leak in a faulty circuit. The idea is to make sure the circuit voltage is only dropped across the load.